Here is a Creed fragrance that came out in the year 2000. It's called Tabarome Millicene, not to be confused with Vintage Tabarome, which is a totally different fragrance. I've actually had this one in my collection now for about a decade. Turns out I never did a video on it. I have featured it in lists in the past. Today I'm gonna to give you my review on it in just a second, so make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on Tabarome Millicene by Creed, Olivier Creed is the perfumer as per Creed source themselves, I want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So of course, initially I purchased this fragrance because I heard it was a tobacco-based fragrance. Now, of course, I always, always had a, a liking to Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. There's a lot of really wonderful tobacco-based fragrances. Generally speaking, I think it's a wonderful note. You take a look at the note breakdown, you have sandalwood and ambergris and patchouli, and despite those dark, you know, earthy tendencies, maybe a little bit of freshness on account of the ambergris, we also have some brightness in the opening. Tangerine, bergamot, you also have a touch of ginger in the heart as well but tobacco really sits at the helm of this fragrance I'm gonna be letting you know all about this fragrance what it does on my skin how I take to it on a personal level as far as my own subjectivity towards the scent is concerned let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first so the first thing that needs to be said about this fragrance is that while it is a tobacco-based fragrance, it's a very sort of leafy herbal tobacco fragrance. And I say that because I think the patchouli has a pretty strong influence in this fragrance. Now, it's not earthy or chocolatey in that sense, but it does kind of have like this earthy soil type of an aroma to it. it. Doesn't smell dirty, right? It doesn't smell explicitly like dirt, but it does smell like something that would come out of the earth. There's a touch of ginger in there, the ginger, the tangerine, the bergamot, it definitely adds this element of freshness to the fragrance. And it's not what I expected from a tobacco-based fragrance from the house. Of course, you think of tobacco, you think of like a cherry pipe tobacco or a moist tobacco or a Cavendish tobacco. That's the kind of tobacco that I think a lot of people are looking for when it comes to perfumes. And of course, there's a Wilhelm fragrance that is an amazing tobacco-based fragrance. It's called To My Father. And of course, you have a lot of other honey tobacco and sweet, fruity tobacco fragrances, especially if we're talking about dried fruits. You don't have any of that happening here. So this is a very different expression from what I expected. It has an overarching freshness to it, which I think is really nice, but then it does sort of settle down into these earthy textures that I mentioned before. The sandalwood is nice and smooth, not sweet. Sandalwood can lean a little sweet and creamy at times. That's not what's happening here, but instead it remains fresh. It remains leafy, herbal, earthy, and that might be what you're going for. It might not be what you're going for. Now, I have mentioned in lists before that this is one of my least favorite Creed fragrances. Now, it's all a matter of subjectivity. It's just my opinion. Of course, when you think about the, the giant that is the brand of Creed, you think of Aventus, Aventus Cologne, Absolute Aventus, Virgin Island Water, um, you know, Erolfa, Millicene Imperial. You have all of these amazing fragrances. And of course, there's even, uh, you know, quite a large demographic that loves Viking and Viking Cologne. And, you know, that fragrance was a long time in the making as well. Of course, I'm referring to the original Viking. So I think that all of those fragrances overshadow the likes of Tabaro Millicene and some of these other under the radar gems. But even fragrances like Bois de Portugal, I think are spectacular. And so, you know, with everything that the brand has put out, this is one of the ones that seems to fly under the radar, like Himalaya, like, you know, uh, Pure White Cologne, which I think is amazing. And, you know, Jardin de Malfi, which I also think is quite good, but this is by far my least favorite. But again, it's just opinion, try it for yourself. If you like one of those herbal, leafy, earthy tobacco fragrances with a touch of freshness in there, try it. I think even when it comes to the note of ginger, I'd rather wear something like 
Arakis by Spirit of Kings or Bulgari Tiger or even The Key by Navitus Parfum or even something like a Diorome Sport. But try it for yourself. If you have experience with Tabaro Millicene, if you like it, if you don't like it, I'm always curious to hear from you. Drop your comments down below. Always love the interaction. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, for me personally, it is a unique scent, but just not one that I gravitated towards as far as my own personal opinion is concerned. Longevity on this one, you're gonna get a solid seven hours on skin. Projection was good for the first hour of application. It radiated at an arm's length. It became an elbow's length scent right around hour five, five and a half. A skin scent right around hour seven or eight, depending on your skin chemistry. In terms of the versatility, I think this one is, you know, a little bit masculine leaning, uh, dressed up or dressed down. I think this one is great for formal occasions, but also casual on account of the freshness. And I think this will probably grab it, or you'll find an older crowd gravitating towards this one on account of the patchouli, the tobacco, the green touches in the dry down. And as far as the presentation is concerned, I think that, you know, it's a very simple presentation. Creed always changes their presentations. I personally love this sort of flask look to it. And as you can tell, this is quite an old bottle that I have here. My final verdict on this fragrance is, it's a tobacco-based fragrance with freshness, it's earthy, it's a bit on the cooling side of things, the ginger, the citrus, the ambergris. It's not salty, but again, it's not one of my favorites that the brand has put out. It's actually one of my least favorites. But nevertheless, try it for yourself. Let your own nose do the talking, so to speak. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. Thanks again for watching. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.